Welcome back, this is Yamajack Plays Minecraft, episode 1. First video of the series, first video on the channel, actually. Um, that's fun, right? Which means that most of the people who are watching this are probably going to be coming from the future when my channel's gotten a few more viewers, and then they're coming back being like, I wonder what the first episode was like. How, how derpy were you back then? Well, you know what? Here you are. I'm in this picture and I don't like it. Well, you know, sucks to suck, dude. So we got some mods installed. We have Apple Skin, Carpet Mod, Item Scroller, Light Matica, Mini HUD, Mod Menu, Optifabric, and Optifine, but it's not showing up. Tweakaroo, and that is it. We are using the Faithful 116.3 from use your information and stuff. Faithful, it's great, love it. Um, music and sounds, there's your music and sound setting. Video settings, we'll, we'll take a quick peek through all this stuff if you want to see what all these things are you know go ahead and pause it and take a peek i've got a little bit of stuff kind of going on with that we'll go ahead and hop into a new world here i have uh did i say i already recorded this three times now does the start of this uh don't need that uh 114 oldie um i tried recording this three times now so the first one uh we had some problems with some mods not working the way i kind of expected them to uh second one got a little bit rambly i'm already rambling but you know Tells you how bad it was. Third one, got some comedic timing. Right as I generated the world, I was saying, whatever happens, happens. We're going to commit this time. Uh, and then uh, it immediately crashed the game. So I was like, well, I guess uh, so much for that. Um, <laughs> which is fine. But um, I know that right over here, we've got some bamboo. This is actually the tallest bamboo we have seen. We have, we have generated this world a few times now. Uh, most of the time, there's a tree right here. And uh, this is definitely new. That's kind of cool. Also got a safe way down here. Every other time we had to take damage. <laughs> anyway, um, not going to stand on that magma block. So yeah, the first time we came by, I wasn't able to space click my stuff out of there because I didn't know what my hockeys were because I wasn't used to them. And they were different, so that sucked. But do you have like apples in this or something? Why, why do they look like apples in there? That's strange. That's strange. So, uh, day one, uh, I keep trying to like shift to run, but it's the exact opposite of run. Um, so day one here, we're not going to be doing an awful lot. Um, I haven't played since 1.14. That's why 1.14 oldie is the seed. Uh, I have not played the game since then, so it's it's a, it's a whole new experience for me. There's a just a, a ton of new stuff really for for me to explore and find step one is going to be setting up a bit of a fish farm so we can get xp uh books enchant our tools and stuff that's that's step one okay and in order to accomplish that we have to do a bit of mining um so that we can get the the iron and all the supplies we need to actually set up the fish farm now it's quite simple to do but we do need a fair bit of iron because i do want a few hoppers so i can afk like overnight or something um, yeah, I also got to figure out how all these mods work again, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so for, uh, for day one here, we're not going to be doing an awful lot of, uh, an awful lot of recording. We'll come back in, in a bit when I've got a kind of place to set up. Hopefully we have a, a dark forest somewhere around here. What the heck is that? What the heck is that, dude? Okay. Change of plans. <laughs> we're going to go see what the heck this is. I genuinely do not know much of, of anything in the world because I only watch Etho really and uh, his his world is is quite out of date so we don't get to see much of the overworld stuff just some of the new nether stuff in the in the hermitcraft series um, so I don't I don't know what what a lot of this this new stuff is it's 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 all new to me I know a little bit about the nether a little bit not much but we'll, we'll, we'll learn um, and then uh, a little bit about just Minecraft in general. Oh, this is this is a jungle temple. I know what this is. I know what this is. How do I get into this though? I don't have a pickaxe, but uh, maybe we can work our way. You know what? We're gonna need a pickaxe actually. So let's let's just make one of those real quick here. Pickaxe. Um. So we'll hop into this place here, grab the stuff out of it, wherever the heck we can get. You know what? We can get in right here. Okay. We, we can make our own entrance. Yeah, it was, it was closed off. We could have just gone in here, I guess, but 
whatever, dude. You're asking too much of me. So uh, this place is kind of reasonably dangerous. It's got some, some traps and stuff in it that you got to kind of concern yourself with. Not that one. This one and then this one. Okay, and it opens up a hole up here or something like that. Yeah. So we'll just, we'll just hop right in. This is okay. Take all that. I want all of this redstone. Heck yeah, dude. It's two sticky pistons? You kidding me? That's three sticky pistons. This is like making bank, dude. Um... Yeah, we'll just hop in here and grab the stuff I wanted to investigate this. I haven't actually uh, discovered too many jungle temples. It's, you know, early game stuff, and you don't spend an awful lot of time in the early game, right? So, oh, I didn't think it, uh, it triggered when you broke it, but it does. I thought we were safe. <laughs> what? Are you insane? What? Okay, um, so we've got kind of a, a, a strange situation going on here, right? Like, pretty strange. Um, we've got five diamonds. We haven't even made a stone pickaxe yet. Don't need that pickaxe, you know? Friendship ended with, with, with wooden pickaxe. New best friend. Um, diamond pickaxe. <laughs> sure that works i guess um never seen that before that's that's fun seen it here first uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh start up i guess mining i'm gonna i'm gonna go mine we'll have a a mining montage or something find hopefully a dark forest to live in would be my ideal probably get a mist a mist up or something like that and see if we can find any dark forests nearby because in my opinion they have the best grass color and that's really the only thing that matters in a for in a, in a biome you only have you have you have, uh, you have either snow or rain and then different grass colors and different water colors those are the only differences between biomes other than that you can just terraform your way to, to whatever you want so i think what we do is we start we got two diamonds for oh no way dude hold up this is this is the perfect crime okay this is the perfect crime. Boom. Like what? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm quite I'm quite content with uh, with that for sure. We just got to make sure we get food so we don't die, but that shouldn't be too hard when we have a diamond sword. Anyway, I'm going to go do a bit of mining, get some resources, set up a fish farm. AFK at the fish farm so we have a whole bunch of stuff we can put mending and enchantments and stuff on our picks and swords and stuff and then uh come back to you guys i'm probably gonna do a montage thing or whatever to fill up some video time but hey oh dear gotta be careful we are running way out of food i guess we could maybe make something out of cocoa or something i don't know um for right now i think the best bet is just to get over to the ocean so we can get some fish and then and, and stuff going on over there at least something you know Oh, we actually have string too now. Hold up, I have to go back into this this place. We have to we have to get we have to get look at that mining speed. It's incredible. We have to get the the string that's down here. Okay, it's super important. Like actually, it's actually like very important that we get the string because the string will make us a uh, fishing rod. And only five. I would have thought there'd be more than that. No, 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 it's five there, two here, yeah, no. Or three there, two, th yeah, 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 we're okay. Um, so, first priority is uh, food, dude. We we are in desperate need of food. Anyway, really genuinely, actually, seriously this time, uh, we will be back shortly after a, a montage of probably a number of deaths. We can make this jump. We can eat the squids. We can eat the squids. Nautilus shell, hey. Pro tip, place your doors sideways. And 
pro tip, place your doors sideways on the side that you want them to. Pro tip. Place your doors sideways. Huh? Pro tip, place your dang doors sideways, dude. <laughs> what? This used to work, I swear to God. Okay, so you just kind of get up there. And then place it sideways. What? Whatever, okay. Place your doors sideways. Now stuff can't break it down, okay? You happy? No! I put the stupid helmet on! Oh. Dang it. Gosh darn it. I put when did I when did I do that? No. Ooh, 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 ooh. What you got? Nothing really. Not ooh, I mean, But nothing really. Nothing really. Food. Delicious. Delightful. Delectable food. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. So I just looked at uh, some 1.16 fish farm designs, and wow, they're a lot more complicated now. So uh, nope, <laughs> not gonna be making a fish farm immediately. But we have a a little bit of a mine here, just just something to to have. Um, not sure what my plan is now, honestly. Um, we got uh, our first mine shaft of the mine over here which leads us to a little lava pool have not found any diamonds yet besides the five that we started with initially um and that kind of puts a damper on things honestly because i definitely expected to to start off with with fish and uh that's not going to be so doable anymore so yeah um what do we do from here? Uh, we have a couple of opportune options here. Cause I, I want to get mending on my tools like immediately. Um, the only other way that I can think of to, to make that happen is if we find a village and, and get some villagers, trade them, get some mending books out of them. That shouldn't be too complicated. I think it's actually fairly easy now to get the books that you want. Let me look into that actually. Yeah, so it seems quite easy. I just have to change out the lectern at the villager yeah, a couple of times, and then uh, you should be able to get a mending trade fairly, like, pretty easily, as long as you just get a librarian. Um, so, we're going to have to go find a village. Before we go find a village, I kind of want to have a better source of food so that we don't starve to death constantly. What the heck is going on here? 47, that's where I went wrong. That makes sense. Okay, wow, my math is bad. What's new? Uh, so we're gonna need a source of food, a source of actually, like, usable food. Um, which means possibly bread, possibly, um, we could go maybe see if we can find some sheep over there and, and breed them. Uh, dried kelp is not a good food option. It's, it's a food option, but it's not a good one. Um, and then we would go exploring looking for a village so we can get a librarian, trade it, get a mending book, put it onto the picks and stuff, repair it using villagers for XP probably. And then, uh, yeah, that would probably be our current goal at the moment. So I'm gonna figure out a food source for us. I'm gonna figure out uh, something we can eat that's not gonna be too hard to get by here. We do have a few bones. So we oh, it's the furnace clicking. I'm like, what the heck is what the heck is? Um, I don't know. We've got some cobblestone, dude. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll figure out a food source for us, and then we'll we'll go exploring, looking for for a village. I don't know what 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 I'd want to do for food though. I guess bread is is probably the easiest. So off I go. Aww. 
We got a little to-go package here, all the things that we want to take with us on our journey to get started up at the new base. We got a boat, a whole bunch of water, and we are going to go find a village, hopefully. Not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Is this like a ruined village? Pigs! We have real food! Okay, this is cool. I mean, sure. Throw the leather hat on, I suppose. I'm down with that. Do you have, like, anything interesting here, though? <laughs> Maybe. <gasps> Bed! Yes! Oh. These are so good. We do not need another bed, though. A little bit short on inventory space. I've never explored one of these before. This is cool. It's like all cobwebby and stuff. That bed is gonna be so, so instrumental to, uh, like exploring the world, looking for something good. No villages here. It seems like it's a ruined village for sure. An ancient civilization. It's cool. It's cool. Ooh, a blue bed. That's even cooler than a white bed. I had silk touch. There's cats everywhere too. Oh, this place is cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Ooh, this one looks fancy though. Anything in, can you find stuff in the cartography tables? I don't know. Can you store stuff in them? I'm sorry, I want to kill you. <laughs> yeah, they give string. That's pretty cool. It's just a whole bunch of cats. This place is really, really cool. Take the bread. Uh, I want the potatoes. Guess I want the beetroot seeds. Inventory's getting a bit clogged, but... What is this? Potatoes, wheats, carrots. Haha. <laughs> ah, we can get rid of a stack of those, I guess. And uh, back to exploring. Yeah, back to exploring. Ooh, another ruined portal. Let's go see what we got. <gasps> is this a nice spire biome? Oh, that's sick. Obsidian. Uh, I like both of these, so yes, please. Hope you don't like lose them, but ah, uh, it's like good stuff though. I want it. Ah, uh, guess we can get rid of the gold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is sick, dude. Got a nice spire biome. We'll put the uh, coordinates in the video here, just so I have them. <laughs> Down at the bottom right. I know I can do this as well, but that's like, that's a lot of stuff, and then this is not a lot of stuff. Oh, this is sick. I normally spend so much time looking for them, but we, we just spawned in a cold area, I guess. We, no, we spawned in a jungle, but like, bizarre. <laughs> bizarre. A real village! This one's real! We have people! There's... There's people! Okay. Okay. Okay, so I guess we... live here now? <laughs> My god. I want in there, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So, uh, 
I guess this is where we set up shop. We're gonna have to keep a couple of these villagers safe so that we can breed them and uh, they don't die. Um, and then we'll have to start farming up our our stuff. I've never lived in a cold biome, but uh, when the stars align, the stars align, you know. Guess we're going cold biome. I'm going to set up a, uh, a bit of a villager trading hall. Just a little something something to get some mending books and stuff. Um, if I can. I don't know how to do it. I haven't done this stuff before since uh, like 1.12. So uh, We'll set up a little bit of a base and I'll get back to you guys. Uh, it's currently a little bit late right now, which is why I'm talking a little bit quieter. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go get stuff set up, I guess. Cool. We found uh, two diamond veins in total while we were doing a whole bunch of mining down at the bottom there. Uh, those two diamonds, or those two diamond veins, gave us two diamond ore blocks. And with Fortune 3, we were lucky enough to get enough diamonds for a diamond axe. So I gave up on mining. <laughs> We're just going to go trade with villagers to get all of our stuff instead. And uh, yeah, so we got a little bit of organization. We got blocks here, valuables. I guess we can dump some ore in there. Uh, valuables, mob drops, food stuffs and like farming stuff, um, miscellaneous whatevers, and then like functional things. It's kind of how I organize it in my brain. I'll show you around the little base that we got. We got a little cow farm here with a chest for all of our crops and stuff. Um, these crops are growing in rows because uh, rows are better. If you have uh, like a big patch of them, they actually grow half as fast as if you have rows alternating between crops because they grow faster when they have crops next to them that aren't themselves. Um, so I just breed these guys every now and then and then I just smack them with a uh, sweeping edge and whoever manages to escape gets to die and it's kind of like a fun little game that I get to play with myself every now and then It's kind of been keeping me occupied a little bit. So I've been enjoying it um, We have a bit of a bamboo farm here a bit of a wood farm But the most important part of all is definitely the villagers. So we started out with a Fletcher to get our Emeralds for trading and stuff from the sticks trade um, Don't use them too much anymore, but he's still there uh, we got a mending book and a silk touch book here, although we have a better silk touch book somewhere else. Uh, we have a fortune three and a riptide three book here. This guy's just a a regular farmer, so that oops, that's not the right button. This guy's just a regular farmer, so we can uh, get some emeralds from the potatoes and carrots and wheat and stuff. This guy is unbreaking three, which is very very nice to have. Down here we have a little bit of a. Um, Villager breeder, kind of. We got trapdoors there so we can drive boats underneath that, but they're all still trapped inside. Which is uh, good, for sure. Um, so I just, every now and then, I just pick up a, a boat, bring a couple of the villagers out, leave two of them in here, throw some food at them, and then they uh, replenish the babies. We got in here, though, we have uh, our armor, who is giving us all of the armor that we'll be wearing at the start, so we can cave a little bit easier. Uh, and then we have some. Well, our shovel is how this is where we got our shovel because I just didn't have diamonds for a shovel, dude. Uh, also, gonna be trying to get a toolsmith to get a hoe, which would be really, really nice. Um, but over here are our other villagers. We got another farmer for some more emeralds because we have a lot of uh, carrots and potatoes. I have efficiency four and blast protection four. I'd like to get an efficiency five book, looting three. Um, but like going through the villager trades is it just takes forever, dude. It takes forever. Uh, down here we have a silk touch book for six emeralds. Dude basically spawned like that, man. It was incredible. We got a couple of iron golems down here as well. Um, these two villagers have been here since the beginning. It's actually a very safe location for them because nothing can spawn over here because uh, I lit it all up. Uh, stuff can only spawn over here, but nothing can make it like past this water stream especially with the iron golem here so these guys are all actually safe here believe it or not they're actually not in danger even though they look like they might be because they're down in the middle of a ravine and we have uh we have like all kinds of caves and stuff over here that i have not fully lit up um they're actually perfectly safe here which is uh is kind of cool 
gives me an idea for um, like villager trading halls, because they can still path, right? Like that's the thing is they can still path through all of this water. Uh, they just can't actually get there, um, so it kind of blocks their movement, but not their AI, which is uh, cool for a couple of uses. If we can maybe get uh, a cool villager trading hall or something like that, where it looks like there just are no um, things or whatever, that'd be cool. We have a uh, sugarcane farm here, mine down there. Um, we've done an, a fair bit of caving, as you can see here. Um, the mine kind of goes down and then just off that way forever and then uh, That's basically all there is to that um, Yeah, so I want to get uh, the episode edited at this point See how much time we have left to, to maybe build a, uh, a villager like a proper villager breeder Because um, that'd be really really helpful uh, getting something like that done so we can start knocking out some trades a little bit easier uh, This trading hall that we have over here or this uh, breeder that we have over here is working fine but the, the main issue that I have with it is um, it's just annoying to use. I'd like to get something that I don't have to like feed them myself and um, that they kind of get separated automatically. Uh, I'd like to have something where they get separated a little bit quicker, maybe, so that we don't have food in our baby villagers. So we can use the baby villagers to uh, farm stuff or whatever, which would be really, really cool. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go edit the episode, see how much time we have, and then uh, we'll get back and maybe fill up the, the rest of the episode with something interesting. Somebody has escaped. I uh, figured we can take this opportunity to show you how I finagle them into their, uh, their homes here. So first up, you get him in the boat, okay? You drive him up close-ish to, the, to their new home. It's a multi-step process, you see. It's a multi-step process. Okay, get them up nice and close. Okay. In goes their workstation. Turn on your bounding boxes so you can break this real quick. He is going to go in there. Okay, once he's in there, you trade him. You lock him in there. Okay, you get him in there. You get him in there nice and tight. You block that off. Okay. Come over here. Remove their workstation. Break this block and that block. Put up the trapdoor, replace this block, and then down goes their thing. And now they're nice and safe and secure in there again. Very easy, very easy indeed. It's uh, it's definitely a, a process, but uh, I don't think that baby villagers or baby zombies could get in there. So I think that even the brewing stand is safe, but the rest of them are, are definitely. But uh, that's how that's how I do it, and it's it's been pretty consistent, pretty simple. So we got bees. I want to get uh, honey because <laughs> I want to make some some flying machines to harvest the bamboo and stuff. So I figured I'd start farming up birch trees as well as the spruce and uh, this one spawned a beehive. So we just got to wait for them to go inside so we can harvest it and make sure there's three of them inside and then uh, we got bees. Let's go. I want to get a couple more before we really commit to anything. You flew away pretty far there, buddy. What are you doing? What are you what are you doing over here, buddy? Come on. Get back in get back in your beehive. Get back in your beehive, buddy. Get back in your beehive. Don't fly away so far. Don't fly away so far. Do I have any flowers? I can lure him. I can lure him. We got a flower right here. Alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There he is. I saw him. I saw him. Yeah, look at that. It's a flower, dude. We're going to take you back to your hive. You're a little bit lost right now. I don't know what the range is on him. I don't know if he'd uh, get lost or whatever, but... I figure better safe than sorry, right? All right, you ha you, you pollinate, okay? Then you return to your hive, okay? Because these guys are about to pop out again, like, soon. So... Ooh, scary. Spooky. Spooky. Get back in your hive. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. You got your pollen. You guys got the pollen all over his butt. This has silk touch on it, so we can just go ahead and pick that up. And there are three bees inside this bee nest. We have bees! I need uh, quartz really, really badly. I want to get the... We got 
a little honey farm made up, but I have to hit the button on like manually right now. So I figure we go to the nether. And I, I've never seen the new nether before. Um, so I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. This place is terrifying. Um, holy <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't know if we just got a bad spawn or if the new nether really is just like so much scarier. But uh, oh my days. Um, okay, so we got we got a little bit of quartz here. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. This place is terrifying. I don't know if we just got a bad spawn or if the new nether is really this terrifying, but, uh, dude. This place is spook town. Oh. My god. Goodness, my goodness. Oh my god. This stuff looks good though. Basalt, I think it is. It looks good. Um, my god, I wasn't expecting it to be this spook. There's, there's like. <laughs> oh my god. I think we just spawned in a bad biome to spawn in. But, like, oh my god, dude. Uh, I want a little bit more quartz. Um, I want observers and I want, uh, dude. I normally go to the nether and I'm like, ah, yeah, it's just the nether, you know. Now it's like, dude, you go to the nether, you bet's like, gear up. I'm I'm not coming back until I have fire resistance potions. So uh, I just want to get what I can. That's easy here. Uh, and then I'm not I'm making fire resistance potions before I come back. Well, I guess you uh, have to come here for fire resistance potions because they use uh, blaze powder. So I guess you can't get them until you come here. Hey. Oh my days. <laughs> I'm spooked, dude. I'm spooked. I'm gonna kill these dudes if I can and uh, see if we can't get some magma cream from them to make some fire resistance potions just so that I can oh my god oh my days like how am I supposed to even kill this guy and then like get my own loot from it dude like what do you what do you want from me here oh my days oh my days okay you guys make your way over here okay I want <laughs> I desperately want fire resistance potions I haven't wanted fire resistance potions more in my life. There's another dude hopping around that I hear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah he's right there. Oh my god, oh my god, he hurts. He hurts a lot, dude. Oh my days. Okay, we got we got a, a single magma cream there, if we can actually manage to get it. Oh baby, this stuff is rough, dude. Oh my god, don't knock me around, please. He hurts too, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. These are not like slimes. These guys actually are painful. I believe they only have one health, so I can just spam click all I want here. Okay, so we have the. Uh, we have uh, a decent chunk of uh, mats for some. I'm like. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, we have <laughs> we can make some fire resistance potions and then come back. And when I have the fire resistance potions, I will have a lot more fun in here for sure. Uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not risking this one. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting the hex keys out of here, dude. Oh, but there's more quartz that's easy to get right here, dude. Oh my god, I just, I hear death all around me right now, and I tell you, I don't like it so much. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm not used, I don't even know how to get, I've, I've been lost. I don't even, I don't get lost. I have an excellent sense of direction, and I'm lost, dude. I don't know how to get back. That's how spooked I am in this place. This place is spooky! Okay, we have a good amount of quartz. Um... There's still some quartz that's easy to get right there. 
I left some on the ground right here and no you know what I have to make a decision we have to leave we have to we have to go we have to go I can't I can't be here any longer I don't know how to go I don't know where go is um, but wherever it is that's where I have to be to get through here yeah okay okay we're out that's we don't have nether wart but we can get that I think um, in the overworld at like uh, ruined things I believe they can spawn nether wart um, so I'm spooked the new nether the new nether is spooky I'll go show you our uh, our little bee nest thing I set up a little thing over here yeah. set up a little thing over here we'll just lure both of these creepers over this away smack them I need knockback dude um, so here's how you can see it just off in the side of the screen right there just a little something you know Oh my days. We need a proper place to, to live at, dude. This is not good. Everything in due time. Everything in due time. So I've got this. Um, it's not at honey level 5 yet, but once it is, um, I was just hitting like a button on top. But we're going to go ahead and put some comparators and stuff down and then trigger the dispenser and uh, get our honeycomb. So that's what I'm going to do just so that when I'm AFKing and stuff, I do that all the time. Um, if I'm doing something else on my computer, I'll usually just leave Minecraft running as well. Like, I'm editing video right now. I'll just leave it running. And I like having stuff that kind of gets to do some stuff with, uh, that time that I may have king. Anyway, off I go to make that. That was spooky, dude. That was spooky. This is the right way to start a video. You just face into nothing. Uh, we cleaned up the inside of the, uh, base. I'm doing air quotes, but I don't have a face cam. Um, looks a little bit nicer, I think. Um... Set up a little bit of a... Did I lose my spruce plank? A little bit of a reed farm here, so automated it. We got an observer back there. Powers a bunch of pistons. Pushes the reeds onto the ground. The minecart picks them up. Drops them to the hopper here. The hopper puts stuff into there. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, we also automated our bee nest. Got that uh, comparator going on from the spook town. Um, so it's just comparator with five redstone dust into the dispenser. And we have a 45 honeycomb and another bee nest. So... A few more bee nests, a few more honeycombs, and we are able to start breeding them, set up like a decently sized thing, get some honey blocks, and start making uh, like flying machines to, to harvest bamboo or, or to harvest this thing or whatever, um, which would be really, 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 really nice. Uh, but this episode is getting a little bit long. We're at uh, currently, that's kind of like a good screenshot there, right? I like that. I like that. Uh, we're getting at like 36 minutes, 37 minutes or something like that at this point, which is really, really long. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the uh, the start of uh, what is going to be a really cool series, I think, because I'm pretty good at Minecraft, dude. And uh, we're going to be making some cool stuff happen. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to see more in the future. I'm sure most of you guys are coming from the future. You know, like I said, I wonder how derpy you were back uh, with your first videos in like five years from now when I've got, you know, a million subscribers and uh, everybody wants to go see how amazingly bad I was at the very start. It's too bad. I'm still great. The microphone's a little bit worse, but I'm still, I'm still me. It's not going to make any sense until like five years from now when that actually happens. Either that or I'll, uh, I'll look like the fool when it doesn't happen, right? Either way, you gotta go big or go home, right? That's gonna do it, though. So uh, I'm gonna go start recording the next episode because I really want to make a, a villager breeding hall. <laughs>